So at some point, you and Michael became more than friends. You know, I, I believe your your son is in the room, so we will keep this um, very PG. <laughs> but was this your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend. Um, you know, what, what young black girl didn't want to be with Michael Jackson or think that they were going to marry one of the Jackson Five? Every little black girl in America wanted to marry Jermaine, Tito, Randy, Jackie, and especially Michael. So when we became friends and and I was I spent a lot of time with him, I was like in heaven because this was Michael Jackson that was on all the covers of Ride On magazine and Ebony and Jet. And he had that big afro and he was so handsome to me. He was so, so handsome. But Michael didn't think he was handsome. So even when you were with him, he didn't think he was handsome? No, because he was he was suffering with some acne things and he didn't like that. And some of the fans weren't too kind to him when they would see him with his acne. Okay. You just said, and you are 100% right, every black girl, not just in America, but across the across world, the wanted, world, wanted to marry one of the Jackson 5. Exactly. And Mike looked in the mirror and did not think he was, I mean, for God's sakes, he's the youngest, he's the lead singer. He didn't think he was handsome? No. He didn't. Wow. Okay, obviously, you didn't have a crystal ball at that time. No. You couldn't see that Michael would one day become white. Um, he would one day, <laughs> and I'm sorry, I don't, I don't even mean it in a bad way. But you didn't see that Michael would one day change his complexion uh, and he would also not necessarily date women who was his complexion. Right. Looking back, are you surprised that you and Michael dated? I'm not surprised back then because he was black then. Mm -hmm. And his mother wanted him to date black. You know what I'm saying? To be with a black girl. And they, and, I, and they really liked us being together. But Michael wanted so much more is why we probably went our separate ways. He wanted to be the biggest star in the world. And he wanted to associate with certain people that I didn't want to associate with. So we just went and we went to, in different paths. He he. We went in different paths, and then when he I actually, sorry, go go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go, go ahead. ahead. No, I heard actually heard you say that once before. You said he wanted to associate with people you didn't want to associate with. Yeah. Who were these people? Were they executives? Who are these people that you are referring to? <laughs> Can I just leave it at them? People that he 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 <laughs> liked. And would go to their houses and stuff. And I wasn't particularly interested in going. You know what I'm saying? And he wanted to be a certain way. You know, he wanted he wanted to be a certain way. And he lived his life the way he wanted to. You know, he liked uh, a certain type of woman and, and thought that it would be best for him in his career to be with certain types of women. Okay, so do you, you think the types of women, I mean, obviously, he's no longer here, but the history books are what they are. He dated people like Tatum O'Neill, yes. married uh, Lisa the, Marie the, the, Presley, Lisa yes. Marie Presley, Brooke Shields, Brooke Shields, exactly. Madonna. Madonna? Well, he took Madonna to the Oscars one time. I don't think they dated, but they went out that time. Well, knowing Madonna, probably a little more happened, but... Okay, um, but that being said, you think it was more of a career move? Yes, I think I think that he felt he would be more accepted. Understood. In the world that he wanted to go in, in okay, the world in the world he wanted to dominate. I believe that so he for, felt that for him. It was important to dominate the world of pop music. Just Absolutely. That's why he decided to call himself the king of pop. Because 
Elvis Presley was the king of rock and roll. So he wanted a title like that. Got you. And he wanted to live that kind of lifestyle. He wanted to be that type of artist. So he made himself look the part that he felt would get over, that he would become a huge star. And at, as young adults, you guys would have these types of talks and he would share his vision that th this is where I'm trying to go with my life. No, I just could see it in, in his behavior. I could just see it back then in his behavior. And when he would go to certain um, houses or, or invite me and all of that, I didn't necessarily want to go. I knew what direction he was trying to go in. I could just see it. Okay. Um, you start out in the church and one of the things that I really love about you and uh, just seeing you over the years, you are unapologetically black. Yes, I am. Um, you love your people. I do. You love your black brothers. Yes. You do. And you are not ashamed to say it and put it out there. Right. Obviously, you two were not going to go but so far. <laughs> So. <laughs> right. So that's why I was like, you know, but he knew it. I mean, I would call Michael the N word, you know, all the time. And he thought that was funny. And then when I would hang out with Latoya, he would ask her, well, how many times does she call you that? You know, because that was a word we used, you know. So, it, yeah, I was a bit too black for him. I was I was too black. <laughs> Hold on, Miss Stephanie. Did I just hear you say you called the king of pop the, the N-word? Absolutely. Yes. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I sure did. He would think it was funny. He would laugh. Oh, it would make him laugh so hard. Absolutely, I did. All the time. Oh my goodness. All right. Um before I switch back, <laughs> wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect that. But um why did you, you know I, I guess you guys broke up, he went, he did what he had to do, and you stayed and and you eventually blew on your own. Right. Did did you find it difficult, you know? Because even as I was researching, you know, you you really blew um, in the 70s and 80s, killed the game. Um, he took over, that, and this is the emergence of I Want My MTV. Right. He took over that station. Yes. You, on the other hand, were you, I, I couldn't find, were you ever with any of your hits, hits after hits, ever played on MTV or VH1? Oh, never. I've never played on MTV, never played on VH1, because they said my videos was too black. But Michael only got to be played on MTV because the, the president of the company at that time told them that if they didn't play his record, he was going to expose them for being racist. Because they denied, they didn't want to play Thriller and all of that. They didn't want to play it. And the guy, I forget his name, but he was president of the company at that time, president of, of uh, Sony. And um, they, he made them play Michael. I never had anyone back then in the day that would, would go on the front line for me like that. You know, a push for me like that. Because every time they would present my videos to them, they say, oh, she's too black. But I found MTV and VH1 extremely racist because how many other black people did they really play? No, I mean, we all know it was in the a, 80s, it's a, they it were still not is. playing a I lot mean, of it, black artists. It still is very racist in our community and entertainment industry. Nothing really has changed. I don't know why people think things have, I don't see that things have gotten really better. So you're telling me with hits like 
never knew love like this before. Um, I feel good all over. I learned to respect the power of love. All of those big records, home for that matter, you never got played on VH1 or MTV? Never. Not even on the VH1 Soul. When they used to do the, remember when they used to do VH1 Soul or R&B or whatever? Never. They always said my videos were too black. They were too urban. To the point where I said, well, I'm that, a black that woman. Is, that is the... What, what do you expect? I'm black. What are you talking about? What is too black? That is the code that they use. It's too urban. Yes. It is too urban. Yes. They're not going to hit you with it's too black. No. It is always too, too urban. urban. And you're yes. like, well, what does that even mean? What does that mean? I didn't know. Huh. Wow. You know, because even as I was researching this interview, I'm like, I, I don't think I've ever seen one of her records played on any in, any one of those major networks. No, or not even my songs crossover pop. Never knew love crossover pop, but home didn't. I feel good, and those were songs that, because to me, pop is what you're popular. That's how I view pop. Correct. So, I mean, what do you mean my songs are not popular? Yes, they are. Wow. Okay. Again, you really are catching your rhythm in the late 70s. Definitely blew it out the frame in the 80s. Big records, disco era. Did you used to party at Studio 54? Yes, I used to party. Michael and I would go there. And sometimes I'd go with other friends and stuff. But yes, I used to party at Studio 54 a lot. Really? Mm hmm Did you ever get to meet my girl down in summer? Because she was tearing up during I that time as well. I never got a chance to meet Donna. Never. I never got a chance to meet Miss Summer, no. Okay. Um, I just thought of something. When you and Mike would go to Studio 54, I know everybody and their mama was getting high. People are... are having a good old time up in there. Yes. Was y'all partaking? Was y'all part of, of the scene at high? that time? No, no, not at all. We would stay in the booth, in the DJ booth, and watch everybody dance. We didn't even go down on the floor and dance. We just would watch everything that was going on because there was a lot going on in Studio 54. Exactly. Yeah, but no, we so didn't partake in any there, of that. Did you at least drink? No. No, I didn't drink back then at all, no. I've never done drugs or drank, no. Now I drink occasionally, have a little wine or whatever, or Moscato and all that, but no, back then, no, never. Mm -mm. What about Mike? No, not with me. Mm -mm. Huh. 